Boy, how times change. I have a tweet here from Kevin Davis who points out, nine years ago today, Heather Like announces an extension of Jamie Dixon's contract that will keep him as Pitt's head coach through 2022-23. How worthless college contracts can be. Uh, well, I think we all knew that. Which leads us to Nunzio and Braddock. Hey, Nunzio, how you doing? Uh, how you doing today? What's going on? Uh, well, you know, the once proud Pitt basketball program is in shambles. The AD got to go. You know, she's the one that gave this guy the $15 million contract. And uh, that's going to kill this season. Well, she also has done some good things with the Pitt football program by sticking with Pat Narduzzi, sort of same philosophy there, Nunzio. So, and, and listen, this, the, the, the fact that they, next year it comes down quite a bit, Chris. So if they're going to do anything, I think next year is going to be the year they decide one way or the other. And it puts all the pressure on Jeff Capel. I don't know how much you can do. We saw this year Iowa State go from two wins to now they're heading to the Sweet 16. Is that even possible here? I mean, it's possible anywhere. It's not like Iowa State is a basketball powerhouse. They also have a new coach this year who engineered that turnaround. Did the did the tweeter say Heather Like gave Jamie Dixon a contract yeah, I think, extension? I think meant the athletic director. <laughs> uh, whoever was the yeah, – okay. was it Scott well, Barnes? Let, I don't know who it was. Who was no, before? Scott, Scott Barnes committed the original sin here by With hiring Kevin Stallings. Kevin Stallings in one of the biggest farces yeah. I've ever seen. Kevin Stallings isn't a bad coach, but he was the worst coach at the worst time here, and they never seriously looked elsewhere. Heather Like tried to clean up the mess. Her big mistake is, is giving – or was giving Jeff Capel an extension in his, what, second year when he had done yeah. nothing to warrant it. And that team had shown some early signs of life, and then they cratered again, and then everything fell apart around them. Uh, this is a big problem. And by the way, you said the football program has taken an uptick. They have. She better get the Pat Narduzzi extension done. We've been hearing about how the sides are close for how long now with no movement yeah. on that. I understand why those are necessary, but to me they're also unnecessary <laughs> because they take it into a year like this one did. Originally, Jamie Dixon was going to be here for a long time, you know, and now it, it, they're written on uh, the buyouts are the most important parts of those contracts, as we now see. All right. Thanks Just very much, remember, Chris. The athletes are the ones that shouldn't be transferring and quitting when times get tough, Bob. These coaches are the ones with the steel medal to stick it out oh, when know. things aren't going so well. I got gotcha. you. We're out of time on that note, but thank you all for calling. Chris, thank you. We'll see you again next week. That's going to do it for our program tonight. We'll be back tomorrow at 1035 talking about all the events of the day, and there's always something to talk about. That's next. More pro days, more quarterback scouting tomorrow right here at 1035. Good night.